Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be a morning skincare routine, trying on some new Korean skincare. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It's felt like so long since I've done an AM skincare routine. PM skincare routines are way easier. I have the time for those. It's these morning routines. You gotta get them on the right day. And what we're gonna be trying on today includes some products that were kindly gifted by YesStyle. They sent me over their chlorophyll set, as they're calling it, so we have lots of plant-based products to try on. I also did place a YesStyle order myself, and I included a product that was very highly recommended by some of you. This is the... Well, I hope I say this brand correctly. Uh, Hugga? Hugga brand? <laughs> you know, it's an extra level of embarrassing. I actually watched several videos on how to pronounce this word, and I'm still over here probably bumbling this word. I know, I tried. But I also wore this one for a full day outside, so I have some thoughts on it, which I'll also share in today's video. And one more thing before we get into today's video, I've been a little surprised by the number of people who have asked me uh, if I will be making a video on the tragedy that's going on in Ukraine. Uh, unfortunately, no, I just simply don't have enough knowledge on that topic, but I hope y'all know me enough by now to know that I also don't want to do nothing. So I thought I would start out this video by telling you a little bit about the charity that I ended up settling on. I feel like I uh, did spend a lot of time looking for a good charity. It's important for me to uh, find charities where the vast majority of the money that we donate actually goes to the cause. So I did find a charity on Charity Navigator with a four-star rating, and they are called Global Giving. And to really quickly tell you about them, they do take between five to 12%, which all things considered is actually really good for a charity. You know, they still do have to, uh, you know, fund themselves, pay the people that work for them. So that is not bad. That means at least 85% of your donation does go to support these causes, including Ukraine. And what's so neat is that they are a nonprofit that uh, has a bunch of other nonprofits within them. So what you can do is browse all of the charities and add to your cart whichever causes and interest you, kind of like you're shopping from Sephora or, or I guess Yes Style. Add it all to your cart and then check out, but of course rather than getting a bunch of stuff, you are helping a bunch of people. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Sorry if this sounds like an ad. Look, if people can put HelloFresh ads before their skincare routine, I think I can put an ad for a charity. A bit of a reverse ad for me, if you will, but you know, hopefully that does help, because again, I know that it can be difficult to navigate all of the charities that are out there. Okay, let's go ahead and start up this skincare routine. So YesStyle sent me over the Rovectin Skin Essentials Conditioning Cleanser, but I do already have and enjoy this particular cleanser, so let's just go ahead and use this. Um, I will say that I, I will talk more about this in a future video, but I've been using cleanser less often in the mornings. I'm gonna do it today, but in general, I've switched over to using a cleansing treatment or a micellar water in the morning about five times a week. So this will be one of few morning cleanses for me. That's a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I found it works a lot better for me. As you can see, uh, I, I did have a pretty bad breakout recently. I, I mean, I've had a lot of bad breakouts recently because I forgot this, but I uh, remembered and decided to switch to that approach, and I think that's been helping in conjunction with the fact that I cut down my usage of retinoids. That's controversial too, but I'm only using them once a week right now. And I'm also thinking I'll eventually do some kind of a, a longer term update on where I stand with my retinol journey. It's certainly been a long one and this, this once a week thing is so different for me. I just rinsed off while I was washing my face, I realized, okay, if you're not gonna say something bad about it, then say what the retinoid is. It's adapalene. I'm back on Differin. The reason I didn't want to say it is because in the past I've had so much difficulty using adapalene. It has not gone well for my skin type and people in the comments section have not always liked to hear that. I had a lot of people saying, no, that's the best ingredient my skin has ever experienced. You must be doing something wrong. 
pea size amount, dry skin, 30 minutes before and after, I, I don't know uh, what could have been going on aside from simply my skin type might be too sensitive to handle it applied as often as I was. But this once a week thing, it is going well for me. It is actually going well. My old system of not washing with a cleanser twice a day going well. So I'm still taking it easy. That's why we're doing the pharmacy trial instead of a, a new brand to me. But I'm happy with finally finding a way to use Adapalene. Uh, so my quick little thoughts for you on the Rovectin cleanser, or rather the one that I used. I do enjoy this cleanser. It is actually a gentle Korean cleanser. I find some are a little bit too harsh for my skin type, but that one is actually a, a great option for me. So moving on to the iUnique Tea Tree Relief Toner, which I'm going to put on my little pad today that says, You are worthy. Those are from the company Three Ships, also received in PR. They're so cute. Okay, so a little bit of this. How interesting. This does have that characteristic tea tree oil scent, but it's not as strong. Let me take a look at the ingredients on this one. Okay, so they are disclosing both the amount of the tea tree leaf water and the Sika leaf water in here. 67% tea tree leaf water, again, not to be confused with the essential oil, and then 19.5% Sika, and six sprout extracts at 6,000 parts per million. You know what's funny though? I've almost bought this product so many times because it has a great price point. It is not too expensive. But I've thought my whole life, my whole life, that this was a glass bottle. It is actually plastic. Have have you all had the experience of buying something that looks like it's in glass packaging and then you get it and you go, oh, it's plastic? That actually happened to me with the Beauty of Joseon serums too. I thought those were little glass bottles, but no, they, they are plastic. And let's do this product next. I've been so curious about this one. This is the Madagascar Centella Tone Brightening Capsule Ampoule. I've seen so many people rave about this product, so super excited to try it. Why can't I open things like a normal person? Open it with a pin. Uh, speaking of packaging, this is actually a beautiful glass bottle. Oh, that looks so pretty. <laughs> well, it's got kind of a slightly viscous texture to it. Okay, <laughs> going overboard trying to show the texture. We'll apply this and then take a look at the ingredients next, I think. Ah, this feels very nice to apply. So this contains 77% Sika extract. We have some tranexamic acid in this product, which I know I've seen quite a few people talk about. That is a, an exciting ingredient to see, especially in Korean beauty skincare products. Medecasoside, that's the constituent within Sika. We have some 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, so a little bit of vitamin C in here. So are they saying it's a brightening formula? They say it is fragrance-free. And it is made to strengthen the skin's moisture barrier and, indeed, brighten skin tone. Oh, also some lactobacillus ferment in here, as we've talked about a lot on this channel. That is a postbiotic ingredient. Well, that's a nice product. I was a little worried about the, uh, what appears to be beads suspended in here, uh, kind of sitting on my skin, but it looks like they're using that technology where those burst open instead, so you're getting those fresher vitamin ingredients, or whatever's within them, ingredients. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, let's let that sink in for just a few more moments and move on to this from Frutia. This is called the What's Wrong? That's a question I ask myself all the time. Help AC Body Clear Mist. I want a clean back. This is a back spray made to target bacne, including Sika, salicylic acid, tamanu oil, weak acidity. Oh, the ingredients are all in Korean, but I'll, I'll make sure to have them up on the screen somewhere. Let's go ahead and try this out. I, I did, when this first came in the mail, I did go, uh oh, am I gonna be able to figure out how to open this, how to use this? Turns out it's very easy. We have the word open here. You just move this over to there. And I'm wearing totally the wrong shirt, but there you go. <laughs> I've dealt with some pretty bad back knee at different points in my life. I actually don't anymore. I think that uh, using the 
uh, AHA body products has really made a difference for me there, which is super surprising because I need salicylic acid, but not AHA for my face, and yet my body seems to respond well to AHA. But I can see this being a good alternative if that's not been a good system for you. I wonder how much salicylic acid and tamanu oil is in this product. Maybe I can get some more details and again, put those up on the screen. But yeah, that's a cute little bottle too. I like how easy it is to spray. Let's do eye cream next. I really need an eye cream. Can you see that my eyes are a little irritated? Uh, I don't want to burden y'all with my personal life details, but I did have a, a, a little smidge of a cry fest over the weekend. You know, just a little smidge of one. For reasons, for reasons that again, it just it it doesn't need to be shared on YouTube. But you know, you never know. You never know when people are dealing with stuff in their personal lives. I I'm fine though. So what do we have going on here? We of course have bifida ferment lysate. Whoops, let me turn it the right way. So I've been really curious about. Eastentry has a couple of products that contain that ingredient, which we talked about in. Uh, the Mary and May video. Y'all all told me to buy the ampoule, and what's so funny is I, I made a purchase through uh, from Eastentry. I bought the through Yes Style actually. I bought the C Niacin ampoule, and I swear it showed up the same day that y'all were like, "Oh, buy buy the bifida," and I was over here going, "No, I chose poorly." <laughs> An eye cream containing bifida ferment lysate helps to improve skin tone, which for me right now means toning down the redness. <laughs> they also do have some peptide ingredients. I don't know, again, how much though. It doesn't seem they are disclosing that, but uh, frankly, when it comes to eye cream, I feel like the, the first thing I look at is actually the texture. This one seems to be a nice uh, medium weight eye cream. All right, let's move on to moisturizer. This was also in the Yes Style set they'd sent me, Mizan's Goodbye Blemish Soothing Gel Cream. Well, that's exciting. I definitely do deal with blemishes. So what do we have going on here? Oh, we have Copper Tripeptide 1. A little bit of willow bark, tea tree leaf extract. We have some oligopeptide, 191. All right, all right, let's give this a try. Oh. <laughs> I expected more of a gel cream than a gel. Looks like this is a, a, a gel indeed. <laughs> Again though, a copper tripeptide in that clear of a gel, probably pretty low, but that may be a good thing, depending on your perspective. Okay, so definitely this does feel like a product you're probably gonna appreciate more if you do have more oily skin, but again, even for somebody like myself who does have uh, a more dry skin type, I can layer a second moisturizer over this. Let's go ahead and move on to our sunscreen today, the uh, Huggy again. <laughs> Hugga, hugga, right? It was hugga, not huggy. I think huggies are something very different. I, I think that's very different, yes, indeed. This one, I guess, has been compared to the Crave Beat the Sun or, or Beat Shield. It's funny, I saw in the reviews some amount of people uh, were a bit unhappy about the alcohol content in this product. It's almost strange that it does feel like kind of a thicker consistency, but then as you buff it into your skin, it doesn't feel like it is. Again, probably because that alcohol is making it more cosmetically elegant. But if I'm being 100% honest with you all, again, as somebody who has already given this sunscreen a try, I don't see this becoming an instant favorite again on my skin type. This video pretty much is a video that probably is more for those of you with normal to oily skin. Uh, it's not per se drying as a sunscreen, but it's also not hydrating. And I think that's, uh, that's the issue for me. There are now some very wonderful hydrating sunscreens. So I guess, surprisingly, even though I saw all of these really positive reviews for this, I just kind of feel like it's all right. It's not terrible, it's better than a lot of other sunscreens I've tried, but it's also, it's not an instant favorite. I just feel like the Can Make sunscreen is a little easier to work with. You saw me having to buff this one in a bit. The Beauty of Joe Sun is a bit more hydrating. So yeah, again, not a bad sunscreen, but yeah, just simply not not an instant favorite. Should I come back to y'all in a few minutes after the initial shine dies down? Let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. 
I'm back. I've been reading a little bit more about the Skin 1004-1004 uh, Madagascar Centella Tone Brightening Capsule Ampoule. So they do actually disclose the percentage of both niacinamide and tranexamic acid. It's at 4% and a pH of 5.5, which is perfect for niacinamide, tranexamic acid at 2%. And of course, that's all in addition to the Sika ingredients, the Medecasoside, the Betaine lactobacillus ferment. This is a promising product. I will definitely keep up usage with this one. As for everything else, you know, this is a an overall first impressions video, minus the sunscreen, which I already talked about, and again, the cleanser, which I've talked about a lot in the last year. Uh, so I don't want to give any, you know, long long-term reviews, but I will say it seems like everything went well. If you do have any longer-term thoughts on these products, feel free to leave a comment. If you want to vote on a trial, feel free to let me know what you're most interested in seeing. I'm leaning towards eCentury as an upcoming trial right now. As you can probably guess from me saying, I bought the C Niacin as well as this product, and I think that's it. I think that's all we have for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're interested in placing an order on the YesStyle website, make sure to use my rewards code and combine it with the coupon code and get your daily free gift. And of course, I'll also link Global Giving in the description box below as well. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week, and I will see you all next time.